everybody. 2016, the first nooner of 2016. I figure, hey, new year, new music. What do you think? I like it. Got a nice funky beat. Welcome, everybody. Thank you guys for being here. Appreciate the favors and the restreams in advance. That's right. Nothing more than a good nooner on a Monday. Who doesn't like a nooner? A good nooner any day, quite frankly. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Thank you guys for being here. So this is the nooner. I am your host. My name is David Bradley. Today we're going to be looking at how to make 2016 your best year. And hey, Mike, congratulations, brother, by the way. Sounds like you had you had a killer 2015. Uh, oops. 2016 is only going to be better for you. And if I can help in any way, please let me know. So 2016 is only going to be better for you. And if I can help in any way, please let me know. So today we're going to be looking at, hey, how do I make 2016 my best year ever? Okay, so this is the Nooner. Episode 87, how to make 2016 your best year ever. I'm going to get rolling here. I'm going to bring this uh, funk down a little bit here. Let me introduce myself to you. My name is David Bradley. I am your host uh, every weekday, Monday through Friday, 12 o'clock noon Pacific Standard Time. I'm dropping in here to give you a little bit of a noontime nugget about sales, business, or life. More often than not, those three things tend to coincide. But the way I see it is it's sometime around 12 o'clock noon, coffee has worn off. Uh, you've maybe you've eaten, you've put some food in your body, but what are we doing about fueling up our brain, right? Motivation is something that you have to be doing consistently, constantly. You got to stay on top of that. Uh, you got to stay focused on where you're headed. So what I like to do on these nooners is I like to pop in here around 12 o'clock noon Pacific Standard Time and drop a little noontime nugget on you. And on uh, Mondays, I like to review Grant Cardone's strategy of the week. So it makes perfect sense to me. What does Mike say? Mike says, I bought a Cardone. I bought Cardone you. Congratulations, my man. Yeah, I saw that on Facebook. Good for you for making that investment. Good for you for taking that next step. And just for those of you kids in the audience that are watching from home, um, Mike Davenport is one of the best, if not the top Chevy sales guy in the nation. This guy says, I'm putting myself on Cardone University to keep my saw sharp every single day. From a guy that probably doesn't need it, who's already got mad skills, okay, recognizes the value of, as Stephen R. Covey talks about, keeping the saw sharp. So good for you for doing that. Congratulations. Anything I can help with as far as that goes, feel free to reach out, man. Um, so what we're talking about, grant strategy of the week last week. Let me introduce, uh, I was in the middle of introducing myself before I got distracted. So there's three things about me. Number one, I am a sales and marketing manager with Grant Cardone. Uh, Grant Cardone is a New York Times bestselling author, entrepreneur, serial entrepreneur, um, all around good guy, and um, an expert when it comes to sales, business, and large levels of action to create real success in your life. Uh, what we do in our car, in our company, Cardone Training Technologies, is we work to increase production, whether this is for individuals like Mike or Fortune 500 companies like Chevy, usually to the tune of 15 to 30 percent, sometimes more, simply by helping them find and then handle missed opportunity. Regardless of where you're at, is there room for improvement? Are you working to your quota or are you working to your potential? These are questions that we ask on a daily basis. So if I can help you work to your potential, not to your quota, if I can help take your company, what would another 15 to 30% look like in your books? If I can help with that, reach out. Phone number 310-777-0352. You can email me, david at grantcardone.com. Uh, happy to help any way I can. Two other things on me real quick. I'm the author of a book called How to Stop Smoking Without Killing Anyone. Smoked the cigarettes for uh, just over 15 years. Could not quit to save my life. But I found a way to stop. There's a huge difference between quitting and stopping. That's what my book is about. It's about giving you the ammunition and the fuel you need to literally finally kick the habit before the habit leads to you kicking the bucket. And this is the 4th of January, right? We've had some people are making New Year's resolutions, man. People are laying down their own personal law, okay? By March, it's usually all over. Uh, last week, I talked a little bit about why New Year's resolutions can be... Okay. 
If you said I'm going to quit smoking this year, my book will help you do that. If you got another habit you need to quit, I can help with that. Check out that book, stopdon'tquit.com. Shoot me an email, hit me up on the Twitter for more information about it, but go to stopdon'tquit.com for the big data. Third thing on me, I'm the founder of a hashtag called Rich Man's Gym. This is my next book. It's a work in progress. It's all about home-based strength and conditioning for body, mind, and spirit. You don't have to go to the gym to get in the best shape of your life. You can do that right from home, in the garage, down at the park, backyard. Don't need to go to a cookie-cutter gym. So that's what Rich Man's Gym is all about. And there's a little bit more to working out than just looking good in the nude, naked, liking what's coming back at you in the mirror. It's really about getting your mind right, about getting your heart right. Not just the cardio part, you know, the heart, heart, body, mind, and spirit, okay? So, look, uh, Happy New Year, everybody. And for those of you that uh, are not subscribed to Grant's Weekly Strategy, if you'd like to get put on that, shoot me an email, uh, david at grantcardone.com, and I'll make sure you get it. It's 100% free. Uh, but what Grant talks about is uh, goals, right? This is that time of year again, right, where everybody, you know, sets these goals, you know? Um, 2016 literally should be about, as Grant says in his strategy, creating a better life for yourself and making more money. You know, that's the reality of it. Hey, the block has showed up. Vernon Bradley has joined us for the nooner. And the reason I call him the block is because that's my dad and I'm the chip off the Old is a state of mind, so I won't call him old. I'll just call him the block. Uh, so we got some stats from 2015. Here's the resolutions. 37% of all Americans put health and wellness as their priority for uh, 2015. That was a year ago. Okay, health and wellness. Top resolutions, uh, 37%. 32% specifically went with losing weight. 16% didn't even make a resolution. Okay. The worst part, though, that Grant observes, and I tend to be in full agreement, is that he says 25% said they want to spend less and save more. How does this help? Okay, One of the first things that I learned from Grant that really like mm, hit home of recent uh, was he told somebody, you, have a, uh, you don't have a spending problem, you have an income problem. Okay, so if you try to, you can't save your way to wealth. You have to increase your revenue. Saving your way to wealth does not work anymore. Barely worked before. Now for sure, it don't work. Okay, so you can't grow. Here's the quote. You can't grow if you don't spend money to improve yourself, your brand, your business, and your success. Period. You have to be willing to spend money. Okay, so, and making more wasn't even on the list. Is that interesting to you? Because it's interesting to me. In fact, I think it's kind of weird, right? Not a lot of people, in fact, nobody came out and said, I want to make more money. So here's what Grant's saying. And if you caught my nooner... um, I guess it was on New Year's Eve, I think. I said, why your resolutions are... All right, let's sound the alarm, shall we? Bullshit level, DEFCON 5! Okay. Uh, Grant's gone through this. I've gone through this. Uh, I think we all go through it at some point, but we make these resolutions and they don't stick. I use this as an example all the time. If you go down to the gym, right? Right now, tonight... You go to any gym in this country, and I swear to you, it's going to look like uh, a nightclub. There there may be a line outside. Uh, Every treadmill will be taken. People are going to be freaking out, trying to, you know, lose weight this year. Finally. Finally, I'm going to get in shape, right? Okay, by March, it's a ghost town in there. Why is that? The resolutions didn't stick, okay? Okay. It's not that the resolution was wrong. Get in the best shape of my life. Finally lose weight. Drop 20 pounds. Okay, Run six miles. What, whatever, right? That's not a bad resolution. That's not wrong. But what's missing? Okay. Well, we're here to tell you it's skills. 
Okay? Anytime there's a no in O, there's usually a lack of no, K-N-O-W. Okay? So the person that wants to go in there and lose 20 pounds probably doesn't really know how to lose 20 pounds. You just can't go in on a treadmill and drop 20 pounds. There's a little bit more to it than that. And if you don't have any knowledge, if you don't have any skill in the ability to drop 20 pounds, probably isn't going to happen for you. Okay? So, you got dreams this year, you got goals this year, at least I hope you do. And you got some resolutions. You may have made them, maybe you haven't yet. I know that this week my wife and I, we're going to sit down, we're going to go to our favorite Italian restaurant, and we're going to hash out 2016. What do we want to accomplish as a couple? So when Grant was 25, for example, he made a resolution that he wanted to get tools, the tools he needed to become a success. He knew that he didn't want to be poor. That just wasn't going to happen for him. Okay. So what did he do? He went out, borrowed some money from his mom, and he went and he invested in a training program to become great at sales. He studied the crap out of it. Probably they were videotapes and audio tapes, probably wore them out. Okay. And he made a, he made a commitment. So whatever your resolution is, do you have the skills necessary to complete that resolution? So take a moment, if you haven't already thought about it, take a moment, grab a pen and some paper, and jot down, what are my goals this year? When it's, it's December 31st, 2015, or 16, excuse me, December 31st, 2016, if you're looking back at 2016, right? So just put yourself in the future for a minute. If you're looking back, what happened? What happened for you? What are you thankful for? What are you grateful for? What are you celebrating this year? Okay. Now the question is, now that you know that, okay, now you've got some targets, you've got some ideas. How'd you get there? And do you have the knowledge right now to do that? Okay, got a buddy of mine in the auto industry, Scott Sargent. He had his first... 30-car uh, month in December. On the 31st, he stayed late, did 31, uh, did 30 cars, did five cars on New Year's Eve. Okay? Talk about busting your hump, okay? Guy sells five cars on in one day. That's that's huge, okay? N that's not normal. Hat trick, three, is, is, is pretty good, but five in one day, not common, okay? So, number one, good job, Scott. Number two, how did he do that? Now, he set a new standard for himself. 30 cars a month. That's his new standard. That's his new benchmark. Does he have the skills to do that? I don't know. But he's on Cardone University, I'll tell you that much. Okay. So, whatever your commitments are, Grant has four tips that you can use to make 2016 your best ever. Are you ready? Speaking of pen and some paper, okay, maybe we might want to write these down. Okay, so the first one he says is set goals. 10 times bigger than you were thinking. Okay, so maybe losing 20 pounds is not a big enough goal. Okay. Losing 100 pounds, that's not a realistic goal. That's, that's a, that's a um, you're compromising your health now. But how would you take, I want to lose 20 pounds, and how would you make that a 10 times goal? Okay. Somebody wants to make 100 grand this year, someone makes it 120. Well, what if you built a plan to get to a million two? Which is, which is step number two. So you want to set your goals 10 times higher, okay? And then you want to build a plan to accomplish that. So if we're just going to use weight loss, right, because it's prevalent, okay, if we're going to just use that as an example, then maybe dropping 20 pounds is not just all that needs to be there. Maybe we need to have a specific body fat percentage, a specific level of muscle mass, a specific uh, strength accomplishment that we can compare that to, uh, maybe a certain uh, endurance accomplishment. Maybe you need to train for something that will result in a loss of 20 pounds. What if you train for an Ironman, right? What if you train for, uh, to get your certification as a kettlebell instructor, right? What if you train for um, a marathon? I don't know. It's got to get you jacked up. 
But what if you did that? Instead of just, I'm going to lose 20 pounds this year. I'm going to teach my body to run 26 miles. Holy crap. It's a whole different deal, right? 10x that, okay? Then create a plan that's necessary to accomplish this 10x goal. Okay? Next thing, add skill. Do you have the skills required to run a marathon? Okay? If we're talking about a million two, what would you have to do to make a million, $1.2 million this year in 2016? What would you need to do? Can you create that plan? Okay? Do you have the skills necessary to do that? So that's step three, add skill. You better look at that. That means you need to learn how to sell. Okay, then step four, surround yourself with the coaching board or team to get you there no matter what you have to do. So I'm going to read that again because that's important. Surround yourself with the coaching board or team. And when he says board, he's like board group or team to get you there no matter what you have to do. Okay, so if you look at any world champion, especially in, in the martial arts, boxing, UFC, any of the traditionals, every great, well, in fact, they all do, every UFC athlete, just use UFC because that's my thing, they all have a coach, but they have multiple coaches because they're in multiple disciplines, but basically they have a team. If you're a boxer, you got people in your corner. You have a corner man. You got a cut man. You got your coach, right? You got a group in there. Okay? You got to surround yourself with people that are going to push you, encourage you, and help you reach that. Because if you don't, if we go back to that other thing about average, you got to surround yourself with people that are not average, that refuse to be average, that don't want any part of average. Let me crack back up here again for a second. The spend less, save more people. Okay, that's dangerous. So you got to surround yourself with the right people. To get that whatever it takes mentality and mindset. Okay, so I found out. So for those of you that are in business, so this is the nooner, right? Sales, business, and life. So for those of you that are in sales, for those of you that are in business, we have extended the Cardone University offer. It's a $13,000 program. We put together a special package of content that we're able to release to the public for 12 months of full access for only $1,000, $9.95, okay? If you haven't taken advantage of this, you need to do it sooner rather than later because Grant at some point is going to wake up and turn this thing off. Our VP of Sales, Jared, has been telling him, dude, stop. Okay, at some point, this is going to end. So if you want to take advantage of that while you can, give me a call, 310-777-0352, or uh, david at grantcardone.com, and I'll show you exactly how to get on that program. If you can't do nine ninety five in one shot, I can work with you. Um, but look, here's, a, here's some really cool advice from our VP of Sales, Jared, about this. He says, development... Any development is a daily commitment to building a discipline and a mindset. Then, then, and only then comes the skill. So for those of you, again, if we go back to weight loss or getting in good shape, development is a daily commitment to building a discipline. You have to have the discipline where you're going consistently. Okay. What does my buddy Jocko say? Discipline equals freedom. Development is a daily commitment to building a discipline and a mindset. So you got to get the discipline right. You got to get your head on right about it. Okay. Then comes the skill. Okay. Look at martial arts again. That's a discipline and a mindset long before you can open up a can of whoop ass on people. I say that as I drink from my samurai mug from Miyamoto Musashi. Today is victory over yourself of yesterday. Tomorrow is your victory over a lesser foe. Okay. 
So look, your goals, your, your, your mama probably told you to be practical, Grant says. Your dad told you to set realistic goals. Your teachers, excluding the exceptional one or two, enforced mundane orders of classroom conformity. This is why the average American is, is going paycheck to paycheck. Okay? Not interested. Not going to be me. Okay? So... What's the bottom line? New Year's resolution? Oh, come on now, that ain't even bullshit. That's horse shit. Trade them in. Trade those, this is what Grant says, trade in your resolutions for goals that are unreasonable, unattainable, and that stretch you beyond average and ordinary. Combine this with the skills you need to succeed, and you will understand the power of this knowledge. I'm just going to read that again because I really like it. Trade in your resolutions for goals that are unreasonable, unattainable, and that stretch you beyond average and ordinary. Combine this with skills you need to succeed, and you will understand the power of this knowledge. Okay, so regardless of your story, regardless of where you've been, what you've gone through, what you've experienced, what's happened to you, what hasn't, okay, we can blame all kinds of stuff. But as Grant said, which this is the capper, this is what we're going to wrap and interrupt with today. The greatest grief of your life will not be the loss of family members, friends, or loved ones, but the loss of your own purpose. What are you going to create in 2016? What are you going to create in 2016? Tweet that out to me. Tweet me your goals. I want to hear them. My Twitter handle, at David R. Bradley. Hashtag the Nooner. Tweet it out. In 2016, I will create fill in the blank. Hashtag the Nooner. Okay? I'm going to be around all day long looking for these things. Um, thank you, guys. Oh, oh, let's get some music back, shall we? All right, so this has been episode 87 of The Nooner. I'm your host. I'm David Bradley. Hey, if you're just tuning in, um, you want to catch the full thing from the get-go, reruns are up on YouTube.com slash Cardone Solutions. There's a playlist over there called The Nooner. You can catch up on all 86 previous episodes. Uh, I will be back tomorrow talking about a different trait of a great salesperson. Thank you guys for tuning in. Appreciate you all being here. Uh, Look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. Happy New Year, and don't forget, tweet me what you're going to create in 2016. Be great. Nothing else pays, but at the end of the day, you are greatness. Don't fight it. It's your opportunity to do that all year long. See you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.